Is your dog scared of water and you don't know how to bathe them? In this Animal Life video, we share the steps you should follow to give a bath to your dog who's scared of water. Prior to giving our recommendations, it's imperative to make sure we have enough space to bathe our dog. If not, we can visit a groomer who is experienced in the act of bathing dogs. Not only do they have all the equipment and space to bathe the dog properly, they have the knowledge and skills to ensure the dog stays calm and maintains their well-being. Implement the advice we share now in the rest of this video. Convey security. The initial step we have to take is to provide security and relaxed surroundings. We need to handle the dog firmly, but without creating fear. This means we must never use physical or verbal violence. We must handle the dog so they understand what is happening and that we won't hurt them. Giving confidence is imperative to achieve this, as is preventing loud noises or making them nervous. Use a non-slip mat. On the floor of the tub, we need to place a mat or some other non-slip material. This is another thing that will provide the dog a sense of relaxation, as without this, they can slip, which causes more discomfort. If you don't have a mat, you can use a large folded towel. Reassure them in the bathtub. Before commencing the bath, we must make the dog calm in the tub. To do this, we can pet them lovingly, talk reassuringly, and offer them treats and rewards for their good behavior. Do this when they sit calmly, but not when they are playing up. If you feed them treats when not in the bath, this can lead them to jump out. If you find it challenging to keep the dog relaxed in this scenario, then you can do some practice sessions in the bathtub before taking the real bath. Turn the tap on slowly. Once you have calmed them, we can begin to turn on the water. Some canines will get nervous or anxious at this stage particularly if we turn the water on suddenly. This is how come we should turn the tap on at its lowest pressure. We might even wish to have a bucket rather than using the shower. This way we can wet the sponge and then use this on the dog's coat. Based on how the dog reacts, you can use the shower head with more water flow. Remove potential falling items. It's imperative to remove objects from near the bathtub which could fall into it. We should have the shampoo bottle beside us on the floor or in the bat bottom of the tub. If something falls, it could startle the dog and erase all of our good work in calming them. Start wetting them bottom up. We should start to wet the dog on the legs, then move our way up to the chest. There are canines which may have been initially scared, but find the water nice and relaxing at this stage. Don't forget to reward them only if they are sitting still. If they get restless, we should start again by getting them to sit down and then continuing with the water. This is essential to avoid connecting the bathroom with negative experiences. If they are uncertain but we force them to keep going with the bath, the situation will only get worse. A relaxed atmosphere must be maintained at all times. From the chest, we can move on to the back and tail, the final parts of the belly and the head. It won't be required to wash their face as this can frighten them. We can do this after by cleaning them with a wet towel. If the dog wishes to be seated, respect their wishes, even if this means the wash isn't perfect. When they stop being scared, we will have longer time to bathe them standing up. Soap them gently. Once wet, although it may not be as thorough as we would like to, be to begin with, turn the water off and lather. We will always keep calm and repeat the same pattern the whole time. If the dog becomes nervous, we stop, calm them, and reward them when they have relaxed. Rinse thoroughly. Once the shampoo has been used, we will start the water again and rinse in the same order that we did initially. Although it's preferable to lather twice, we can be okay with one application with dogs scared of water. When they become less afraid, we can bathe them better. Dry them. Drying will be done using towels. Drying as much moisture as possible. You can use the hair dryer if the dog copes with it. If not, we will calm them to keep them still, rewarding them when they obey and stopping when they are afraid. With these tricks, we should start to see an improvement. However, if despite everything, the dog does not become less fearful, we must get professional advice from a veterinarian ethologist or canine educator. Does your dog enjoy getting bathed or scared of water? 
leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.